And now this, more breaking news that we are following. The Fed's investigating a connection to the Capitol attack in a Chicago neighborhood. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar, Jefferson Park, where FBI, where they raided a home earlier today. Charlie. Brad, the FBI actually arresting Kevin Lyons here at his northwest side home. Earlier today, a federal complaint says that Lyons was actually at Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office during the illegal storming of the Capitol last week. Investigators spending a lot of time on his social media, in particular his Instagram. They say that he posted this picture of a map showing the route that he took from his house here in Chicago to D.C. with a caption that he, quote, refused to tell his children that he sat back and did nothing and that he was, quote, going to D.C. to stop the steal. Lyons allegedly also posted this picture in front of Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office. When he was confronted with this picture during an interview with the FBI last week, he said that he was surprised that the feds actually found it because he said it was only up for a short period of time before he deleted it. The FBI was at his home today. A picture taken by a neighbor shows that agents were looking through his HVAC truck. We are also told that electronics and other items were removed from the home, a mugshot of Lyons from a previous arrest in 2014. He does have a criminal record here in Cook County. And we did speak to those who know Kevin. They say he was not shy about his opinions. Yes, I've had interactions with Kevin. And what have they been? Generally, he's seen a nice guy. He was opinionated. He has opinion about stuff. And that's all I can say. You know, what was I, his opinion? Oh, uh, he was a Trump supporter. He was a Republican in every way, and he was pretty mad about uh, 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 the abuse of the government, or his opinion was the government's abusing people. Now, those two federal charges that Lyons now faces are misdemeanors. He is being held on $10,000 bond and will be back in court next week. We are live on the Northwest Side. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.